All right, this is a 6 to 24 by 50 uh, adjustable objective scope. It's red and green illuminated if you so desire. And for those who don't know, 6 to 24 by 50, uh, that means you have a 6 to 24 power zoom, 6x to 24x, and 50 is a 50 millimeter lens on the end. So I'll get this thing opened up here and we'll go over some more of the specifications. And I do believe this is their newer model, so there's two batteries that they send you with it. Okay, and there's the mounts. It comes with the uh, mounts, which are, they fit a 20 millimeter rail, Picatinny, or Weaver mount. And there's your scope there. Okay, let me get this unwrapped here. So, looks like we're in a little bubble bag there. Okay. Got some foam wrap around it. There's our lens wipes. Alright. So as you can see there, we got these uh, lens cover caps and they are see-through. So, I mean, I always take them off before I shoot, but, well, I can't show you from this angle, but they are see-through. So you can still look through the scope with them on, but you definitely want to take them off before firing. There's a little silicone pack in there. All right, so back here is where you will uh, make your zoom adjustment from 6 to 24 power. That should just spin one way or the other. There you go. Like so, to zoom in and zoom out. This is finger adjustable. It doesn't require any tools uh, for the sight in adjustments. So under the caps, you can just no screwdriver or penny or anything like that required. Also particularly interesting, especially at this price point, guys, by the way, link in the description for this scope if you want to check it out for yourself. You know, uh, most scopes until you get into the real high-end stuff are quarter-inch click adjustments at 100 yards, but this one is one-eighth of an inch. So if you put this on a highly accurate uh, rifle, you'll actually be able to take advantage of that. Um, because it's only going to move at an eighth of an inch at a hundred yards and every, these magnify uh, Regardless of what scope you have the adjustments are magnified the further out you go So a traditional one that's a quarter inch click at 400 yards every click Would move your point of impact by an entire inch So with this being a one eighth inch click at a hundred yards instead of getting a whole inch of movement at 400 yards you would only be getting a half an inch so that allows you to tune it in to be much more precise if you have an accurate enough rifle to take advantage of that so let's get these covers off here and I don't know if you'll be able to see it on the camera here but this has a green multi-coated lens I'll probably have to take it outside in some sunlight to show you that uh, but the green multi-coated is an upgrade from the traditional blue it lets in more light um, so there's your adjustable objective, so you'll set it for whatever range you're shooting so that it'll remain parallax free, which uh, without going into too much detail just basically means it's going to hit right on bullseye, because uh, kind of like how you get a mirage effect in like the sun in the summer, where things aren't exactly where they appear to be, you can have that with a scope that does not have a AO adjustment, so that's what this is for to keep it parallax free. And then you have a diopter back here um, for your eyesight, whether you got 20-20 vision or horrible vision. You can turn that there for a quick adjustment to get it uh, focused in nice and crisp for your eyesight. And then under here, this is where the battery would go, okay, for the illumination. So it's just regular uh, black crosshairs in there, and I'll try to get these crosshairs on camera for you guys. It's always real difficult on camera, though, but I'll do my best. Uh, so if you wanted to illuminate the reticle, that's where your battery would go that they send you, and they send you two. Uh, so the purpose for this is uh, if you're shooting in low light conditions like dusk, and I've been in those situations before, like especially hunting deer, for example. Uh, but anyways, uh, sometimes uh, if you're aiming at an animal, for example, in low light, your crosshairs are black and it's getting dark outside and the animal almost appears black because it's, it's dusk or almost dark. You can't really see your crosshairs against that dark animal in that low light situation. So that's where illuminated reticle comes in handy there. Uh, so you can actually light up the reticle red or green uh, on this scope. That way you can actually see your crosshairs against the animal in low light conditions like that. And this has different settings because you also don't want it to be like super bright the where it's blinding you. So 
for both the red and green. Let's see, how do I do this here? There we go, okay. That's just a little stiff because it's new. You have uh, five different settings of brightness for both the green and the red. So you can, it'll basically just barely illuminate it all the way up to uh, really bright, I would imagine. So you have five different settings of brightness for both red and green there. Uh, so you can have however dim or however bright you're going to need or want it to be there. All right, so let's open up the mounts here real quick, take a look at them. As I said, they'll fit a 20, mil uh, 20 millimeter rail, Picatinny rail, or a weaver. And there's the mounts there, and they do look like they're pretty high rise mounts, but you're going to need some higher mounts with this large 50, uh, 50 millimeter lens there. So generally you are going to want something like this to give you clearance on most rifles. And by the way, it's a second focal plane um, crosshairs there. So what that means is the crosshairs stay the same size as you zoom in and out. If it was a first focal plane, uh, they would change shape as you zoom in and out. But this is a so second focal plane, so they stay the same size. Um, you got a 3.2 inch eye release on this. Overall length is 15.72 inches and it weighs 22 ounces. And I think that's most of the specs on it, so let me see if I can get this set up somehow and uh, show you guys the uh, crosshairs there and what they look like and whatnot. Alright, so I'm trying the best I can here. Um, it's very difficult with this camera, and it keeps trying to change lenses on me because this is one of those four camera freaking phones. Um, and so it looks better than this through the eye than it, than it does through the camera here, but that's your... Um, your reticle, your crosshairs there, so you do have some mill dots there, and then it opens up into that thing. Uh... So the thing at the bottom there is actually a distance estimator. You could use a white-tailed deer, for example, and whichever one he fits in there will give you an estimated distance on him. Now, so like I said, it actually it looks better looking through it with my own eye than it does through the camera there. Uh, much more clear. It doesn't look bad through the camera, but it is definitely better actually looking through it with my own eye, which is really blowing me away for the price point there. Um, it's just as clear as some of my uh, my two and three hundred dollar scopes are. Uh, here it is, fully illuminated um, in the house on green. So you can imagine how bright that would be if it was actually low light conditions. Now let me switch uh, switch it over and show you guys red real quick. And for some reason, it's not wanting to focus on the red. But you, I mean, you can kind of see it there. I keep there we go, <laughs> and it's going out of focus there. Uh, but there's the red. So. Again, this is all the way up. This would be blinding in low light conditions, so that's why there's uh, five different settings so you can get the uh, perfect setting depending on the light situation for what you need to, again, see whatever you're shooting at in low light conditions. But that's going to do it for this unboxing overview. Uh, they wanted me to do an unboxing video, so happy to oblige. Um, I will eventually get this on a rifle and have some actual um, testing review of it for you guys, but Stay tuned if you want to see it on the rifle and uh, zeroed. I'll most definitely do some long range shooting with it as well. Again, there's a link in the description if you guys are interested and want to go take a look at it. But thanks for watching guys. Thanks to CB Life for sending this out to me. And I hope to see you on the next one.